What's up, everybody? What's up, Mr. Johnny O. Jackson? Put your glasses back on so you can see us. Oh, damn. Yeah, you, ain't, you ain't got to hide no glasses. Come on now. Huh? Yeah. We're all in our 50s. <laughs> we're all in our 50s, so we qualified to wear prescription glasses. So it's no, it's no big deal. That's right. No I got deal. bifocals. Yeah. I got bifocals. Uh, so you got like... It happens like, at 40, right? So you have like the progressive, like in far... That's right. I am yeah, I'm top... It's normal, then down bottom is yeah. Me too. Super me too. Strong. Me too. But I it confused the hell out of me. Yeah, when did it start? I was doing. For me, you know, for me, it's 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 a day that's not good, and then 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 it's, there's a month where I have normal vision. Yeah. Yeah. I never. I didn't realize how bad it was until I start wearing glasses. Well, I don't really wear them still. I just put them on here and there. Yeah. But I was like, once I put them, I was like, what? Yeah. I told I myself, like, Damn. I told myself when I can't read my phone, or when that starts going blurry, then I'm gonna wear the glasses. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, but until I'm then, the until then I'm all right. Chris, yeah. Chris, you're uh, not you're not talking. What's happening? Chris is on here, so I'm gonna take my glasses off so it's a little blurry. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Chris, what's up? He's <laughs> Oh boy, Chris is frozen. He's just like me. See, y'all start <laughs> laughing at me, and here he goes. Hey, hey, I, hey, I we're, that, hey we're, we're not recording. We're not recording yet, right? Yes, we are. We're recording. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, okay. But you, hey, hey, you but stop. but you can still say whatever you want to say. Well, yeah, yeah whatever yeah, whatever you want to the, say. Yeah, say about the glasses, you know. I, I didn't want to uh, get the glasses. I had magnifying glass. Right, so if I would read it, I would I would go this kind of shit uh, it, until it became old. Like, okay, let me get the glasses. So you, what, so why you never wear your glasses, Milos? Uh, you know, glasses don't look good on me. You know, beard doesn't look good on me. Hat doesn't. Come look on, good. man. Come S on. Says man. who? Says glasses. Yeah. Glasses. Glasses make people look smart. Yeah. That, that, that's what the that's what the good looking people say. Yeah. That, that, it oh. don't look good on me. Yeah, by the way, Johnny, the only pictures I have with the beard was when I was taking pictures with you once. I don't know if you remember. Uh, yeah, I, I tried to grow the beard. Uh, it looks stupid. But, uh, yeah, I'll find it. I'll post it somewhere. Yeah. It's funny. So, so, uh, uh, so Johnny, man, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about the thing, man. Are you training? Finally. Are you training really, really for the Masters Olympia? Is that what you're doing? Man, um... It, you know, I talked to Ron about it a little bit, and of course, it's been on my mind. I think I've I mentioned it here and there that, uh, you know, once I did retire, if they brought back the Master of Mr. Olympia, I would be in, you know, line to do it, you know. And mind you, this was, uh, you know, a few years ago, and uh, so now finally it come it's come around, um, and I actually, you know. Uh, I mean, we talked earlier, and I wasn't like, you know what I mean, in the in line, tell your truth, and you know, getting ready for another show or nothing like that. But um, I have to say, man, for for one thing, that you know, we pour our life, our soul, our heart, blood, you know, sweat, cried for this sport, man, for the love of bodybuilding to get on stage. Um, and I have to, I have to say, I didn't accomplish, you know, what I want to accomplish. Cause you, you know, just like Milos, just like you, like any one of us, we want to be Mr. Olympia. And if anybody was up on that stage at any time that say they didn't want to be, you know, I'll say you're a liar or you need to get your ass off because you ain't going to place worth nothing. You know, if you're not focused on being number one in our sport. And so that's bypass me, you know, um, just like being in high school and, you know, wanted to, you know, be a, you know, go to college on a scholarship that's past me G being in college, want to go to NFL. You don't have certain amount of time and, you know, sections of your life to accomplish certain things, you know? And like I said, in open bodybuilding and being Mr. Olympia, you know, is bypassed me, but hell is weird that God, you know, brought it back around again that maybe that I could accomplish one of the biggest goals I wanted to accomplish, you know, in my career, in my life, you know, and for me to look over it and just not try really don't make any sense 
You know what I mean? If I dig deep into myself, it's like, that's stupid to look at this, have this opportunity and not, you know what I mean? Go after it. Right. If you're healthy enough, you know what I mean? And can get focused enough to do it. Why not? You know, so that's one of the things that that's in my brain a lot that I think about a lot right now is like, what an opportunity. And like I said, you're healthy. You're in a spot that you possibly can do it. Why not take advantage of something that you love to do, that you poured everything of your being into it, you know, and and can come out and at the end of it be like, shit, I'm good. You know right. what I mean? Right. And you train. You've been training this whole time. You never stopped. Yeah. Only time I did stop is right after I uh, did retire and. Um, you know, and I think we talked about it before on your podcast before about how, like, I felt like I was in a car crash every day mm. after me and Branch trained, and I didn't want to feel like that no more. So when I was building my gym or putting my gym together, you know, I kind of like laid working out to the side and I was like, I don't want to feel like that. And at one point I really didn't, I didn't want to work out. Like I do a little cardio, but working out, I was like, nah. I train enough people and I move enough weights and load their stuff. That's good enough, you know? Um, and it took me a while. And actually, when I went on that Iron World Tour with Gas, me and Branch over in China, and uh, myself and Branch started training again for those 10 days. And we kicked those guys' ass, the strongest, you know, uh, guy, the strongest man in China or wherever we trained with him. And the third exercise, he was on his ass with his buddies <laughs> and we kept on training, you know, it was like the same, you know, all that came back, you know, filter back in. And, uh, that's when, you know, it sparked me to go back and do the, the Arnold, you know, in 2020 was, uh, that iron world tour. And we were training and I was like, man, I miss this shit so much. And, uh, you know, I got so excited. I got so motivated. I just, you know, got on the road to doing that. Um, so after that, I, I hadn't stopped training. You know what I mean? My training has been pretty much regimented. I don't go super heavy all the time, but when I feel good and feel like I can, I do, mm. you know? So, and then I do the giant sets that Milos taught me, you know? I do your crazy ass shit that you had me walking or crawling sideways up your steps at your house. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I I dipped those in it, you know, uh, believe it or not. Uh, but, yeah, man, I, I've learned so much from y'all, so many different ways of training. You know, uh, whatever I'm feeling that day, I can implement certain things to get through it and uh, make it entertaining and, and make it, you know, a challenging for myself as well. Yeah. Is, is, is Branch doing it? No, you won't get him to. No, no. I, not even. I thought he he mentioned it. I thought he mentioned that he would do the masters. He said, "Why not? Why not do the nah. masters?" I think it was. I talk, nah. I think I talked to him at the Arnold last time, where he uh -huh. uh, where he came with. Uh, I think he was on an in an RV with uh, with my, um, what's this guy's name from Gas? Michael. Michael. Michael yeah. yeah, they they came on. They they drove all the way to Columbus. I know it's crazy, man. I think they're doing it again. Yeah. How far is that? Yeah, the Arnold's right around the corner, so I think they're driving up there again. Yeah, yeah shit. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll see him when I get off the flight. Are you Are you coming to Columbus? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there with all Max. Oh, okay, okay. So, so yeah. listen. So, you're definitely going to do the Masters, right? Man, oh, you know it's the same day as my show, the Johnny O. Jackson Classic. Oh, yeah. You know that you you were my MC for yeah. years and years. So I was like, man, really? Of all the weekends they had to choose, they had to choose the weekend of my shows on. So Brian Dobson uh, said that he would watch over it or take over it for me. Um, so I need to get all my ducks in line and get everything sewn up. If I do that, then yes, I will. Oh, okay, so. Sounds good. It's, it's your name on that title, my man, Jen, Johnny. I mean, that's right. Yeah. yeah who who else do we who else do we know right now that's doing it? Man, I have no idea. And I, and like I said, I'm I'm not in it yet. I still gotta have to. Uh, I talked to Tim Gardner. I called Tim. Uh, I think it was Monday because I thought he was somehow partners in it, um, and he said he's not. Um, has nothing to do with the Masters. He works really close with the Wings of Strength, but you know he's not partners in none of it. 
and uh, he told me to, to contact email Alina. Alina, uh, yeah, Alina. About yeah, about it, uh, about me wanting to do it and stuff like that. Because I really haven't. I don't know if it's an invitation. I think he said it's an invitation. It's only. an yeah, it's an invitation, and they want people to uh, email at uh, Masters Mr. Olympia right. at. Johnny can get in though. At something dot com. Yeah, of course he will get in. I mean, if you want to get in, I'm sure yeah. you get in. You know, I'm yeah, just I'm trying gonna, to... Go ahead, Johnny. No, I'll email her uh, later today and kind of get the information because I have no... Like I said, I have no idea, you know, and when I talked to Tim, he said uh, he had saw them, had took one of my uh, videos and posted it on their feed, so he thought they would have got in touch with me by now because they did that, but nobody... I hadn't talked to anyone. I so think I email her. I think that um, they're going to announce the athletes in April. Okay. So they want everybody to send in um, the request to to be a part of the show, and then they're going to choose from there. And I think they 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 will announce it in April. Let me look it up real quick. I think Kamal is going to do it. Kamal Elgarni. Uh, oh wow. Yeah. That'd be cool to be him again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Johnny, Johnny, you turned 50 That's like a fire. year ago, right? Man, I'm 50. I turned 52 Monday. A 52 Monday. Uh, this yeah. one? Ah, 52. Yeah. Well, listen. Yeah, uh, this happy birthday, thing. brother. Thank you. Yeah, Thank one, you. one thing that people don't know, and I don't know exactly how many shows you did, but I know that you far exceeded me and Chris. Chris and I were like 72 shows at, at one point. 80, over 80 shows. I done. Yeah. Do you know how many? I don't know exact. Uh, somebody told me the exact, but I know it's over 80, like 83 or so. How many years? Was, how many years did you compete to get that? He got from uh, uh, turned 2002, pro in 2001. Right? 17, 17 years. 17 years? Yeah. How, how, many many were your average, how much were you averaging per year? How many shows per year? I've done eight. Hey. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that, that was a period of time that. Did, at least, uh, yeah, my first, <laughs> at least my first five or six years, I did eight shows a year. I did those tours, the European tours, yeah. a lot. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. Yeah, one year you did like every Arnold, like Brazil, yeah. Europe, South yeah. America, South Africa, something. Yeah. Wow. But anyway, so over. Yeah, got like what, uh, seventeen second places. <laughs> That's. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, right. sometimes people forget, you know, what uh, you uh -huh. know, certain athletes achieved, you know, when you look at it, yeah. it's been like, it's crazy. Just 80, over over 80 not shows. Many, That's fucking crazy. Oh, my God. How many pose downs? Yeah, I don't, man, so many. So many. Sure. So it's the, the email is mastersolympia at mrolympia.com. That's the email. That's the email. Can you send it to me? Yeah, Text yeah. It to me. Yeah, I forward cool. it to you. And also yeah. the info, you know, because, you know, the, the, I don't really know the criteria. Hey, you know me. Hey, you know me. You used to tell everybody, like, if y'all want to know anything about a show, don't ask Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, on that note, you remember when you turned pro? Like, uh, uh, I, I do know that you competed with Chris then back in the day. Like, in 2001, I think you won a... Uh, USA, but you didn't uh, win the overall, and then that's right. The nationals and and you were light heavyweight, winning the overall. Yeah, uh, I don't know who was. Uh, I think Art Hartwood was maybe. Uh, what year was it? What year? No, it was it was all five of us. Five of us was from Texas, so it was uh, Eric Artiro was middleweight. I was light heavy. Branch, Branch was heavy. Art Atwood was super heavy. So we all R started at, pro R and all lived here in Texas. Yeah. yeah. So that uh, so yeah. that was the Nationals? That was at the 2001 yeah. Nationals. Wow. And then our wow. Adwood, a week later, uh, the pro, the, competed the pro, the in the, the Toronto Pro and won that a week later. I remember. Yeah, he won his first pro show. Yep. Yeah. Wow. And he's Actually, you beat him a week earlier, and you, you choose not a to... A week play. before. Well, they said if I was there, I would have beat his ass there, too. <laughs> Art, Art, Art couldn't handle that, uh, the uh, the tours overseas, though. Oh, he yeah. He could not handle that. He was not happy with that. 
Yeah. Did, did he ever? Did, we were, did he ever come on a tour did, though? Uh, I remember when we were in. Uh, we did the. Uh, I got fifth place there. God dang it. Um, man, I can't. Remember. It was. Uh, Holland. Holland was it? Well, it was somewhere in Europe. Yeah, yeah. somewhere in Europe, and uh, it was. I got fifth. Melvin actually won. Melvin Anthony won uh, the show in Europe. And, uh, Rod, yeah, Rodney St. Cloud was in it. Rodney, he, I think, got six or seven. Troy Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think Melvin won a show in Europe. Nah. Oh, did, what show did he win? Yeah, he was there. Melvin, Melvin won the Night he of Champions. With, he was there with Heidi because I got 15th at the New York Pro. I got, hey, listen, uh, I, I got Melvin sitting right here. Let me ask him. Let me ask him. Oh, yeah. Did you win a show in Europe? That's funny. Oh, no. No. No, he didn't. Man, he, what show was that? He was it listen, was, uh, he was, he was, there. Ass. He was second he was, was second in New Zealand. No, it wasn't New Zealand that we did. What about Australia? Was it Australia? It might have been Australia because it was But uh, he didn't win. He, he didn't win because Chris won. Ani Rambad was uh was his trainer at the time. Where where did you go with Hani? Hungary. It was a Hungary. Yeah, but Hungary, Hungary. What year was that? What year was Hungary? Uh, 2000, uh, 2000, 2000, 2001. Like four or five or something like lost that. Lost to who? Hungary. Oh, he, he went. After he won the Night of Champions in 2004, he went to Hungary and got beat by Pavel Joplinicki. Right. That's what it was, yeah. yeah. Well, only thing, what I was getting to uh, was I remember in Hungary, when Art was in the lineup also, but afterwards he ate 17 ice cream cones yeah. out there. He was drinking wine and eating ice cream cones out in the expo area, you know, after the show mm. or whatever like that. I remember that for sure. That was a big but boy was too. Young. Oh yeah, man. I was young then. I was, that was one of my first shows. First yeah. or second shows. Yeah, I yeah, that was, that was Hungary in 2004. You remember it was a Budapest or a small city? Budapest. Budapest. It's in Bu Budapest. Yeah. So what was it? Uh, Melvin was uh, fourth and you were fifth? Yeah. Yeah. Did he get four? I thought he got better than that. Wow. Yeah, I think that, uh, yeah. Uh, got, from the Dedham Charles. In my, my mind, I, in my mind, Melvin... What? Man, that's crazy. Look at Look at all these old fools here. Can't remember the damn thing right now. Yeah, man, oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, two, yeah, 2008, yeah. 2008 uh, in Atlantic City, Melvin beats you in your second, right? I know that. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> and actually, they had my had me out of the top five at first, and then you know after round round after round after round, which I should have won that damn show, I ended up second. You know, that was, that was my last. <laughs> we we don't my, have to go into that yeah. conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that was hey, my last a, show. Hey, I got Melvin. I'm a, I'm I got a, I got Melvin here mouthing off right now. He's mouthing off. He's like, hey, wait a minute, wait. What do you mean you got? You should have won that show. No, y'all ain't y'all ain't heard nothing yet. Y'all ain't heard nothing yet. I I went back and forth in my head whether I would do this or not. But I'm sorry, Chris. Do it. Do I'm it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do, do it, man. Go I'm ahead. Do do it, go man. ahead. Give do it to him. Give it to him. I know. I, I, because it, it was one of my my favorite times of my life and one of my favorite shows, the Montreal Pro in 2006. And as I said, it was my first pro win, and Chris was in that lineup as well. Oh, Chris? Yeah. Oh, Johnny beat lineup. you? Johnny beat you too? <laughs> Bro, <listen. laughs> let's, let's go there. Sorry, then, Johnny. Let's go. Sorry, let's go there. Sorry, let's go there. Sorry, let's go there. Sorry, let's go there. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. I had to do it. Johnny, you know you my little brother, right? First, I know. Wait, 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 wait. Let me clean it up. Let me clean it up. Clean it up. All right, then. All right, Let me clean it up. Yeah, let me clean it up in public. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, You know, I know, I know, trust me, that I ain't even close to the level you got. And so I ain't going to get it fucked up. 
at all. So let me clean it up. There ain't, there ain't you, no hey, comparison. You still beat him. You it's, still beat him. No, 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 fair, no. fair and square. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but I had to get that on. I had to get off. I Chris, had to get that off. Though. Chris, deal with it, Chris. He's let still. He's sweating like a white girl. He's sweating like a white girl. He's sweating like a white girl. <laughs> Let me talk. Go ahead, go ahead, Chris. You got it. Oh, this is coming from. Oh, here come the excuse. Come on, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> excuse is like an asshole. Everybody got <laughs> <not> one. <laughs> come on, come on. Let me tell you. So I went. So I had a staph infection. I'm in oh. a coma. <laughs> I almost damn died. Yeah. That's like. That's like. That's like. Uh, uh, that's like, uh, what's his name? Jordan coming back with fucking on the wizard. <laughs> and you got to take that win. You got to take that win. That's right. That's right. Oh, this is just, tor- hey, it is. is. I, I don't think hey. it is. Listen, I'm uh, why on wouldn't you? Back, Chris. To, but, but then, then I come, then I come, then I come, uh, get, trying to get ready for the show. I tore my tricep. Oh, getting ready for cool. the show. Another just excuse. Over the, then, <laughs> then, then. Milo didn't even give me no fucking insulin. Oh, no. <laughs> oh every, hey, Chris. Lobby. So, Chris, what you so Chris, what you're saying? Milo. Everything went wrong. <laughs> Everything went wrong. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And then I, I was fourth. I should have been third. There's no fucking way I should have been at least third, dog. Still. Uh, exactly, oh, you got. Man. Oh, you got fourth. Only, you got fourth. Hey, oh. Only thing, uh, I didn't make only it back. Thing I have to say, is everything lined up? Oh. Every. Every dog got his day and it lined up for you, man. Yeah. That's all I got to say. Yeah. I don't think, yeah. Chris, Chris, was thinking, was that your last show? No, my last one was in uh, Atlanta. Oh, That's okay. That. Okay. Atlantic City. Oh, I he know. He thought about it, though, after that. He thought about it, though. But it was like, I mean, everything was crumbling down at that point. Yeah. Everything was coming yeah. down from losing contracts and muscle tech was like trying to rush me back on stage. And, uh, you know, and it was like, you know, I need you to get on stage. I need to get back to Olympia. I'm like, dude, I almost died, bro. Can I just give it? Can I take a breather for a second? Or, yeah, or that's um, crazy. No, so were you, no were, you, were you forced into the show? Yeah, I had to. Oh, okay. I had to. I had to try to save my my uh, my money because the money was going to go down if I didn't make it back to Olympia. And the money went down. Mm. And it was fucking yeah. trickling. And then it was like, you know, had to support. And then, uh, you know, I... I if I would have got my tricep fixed, that would have put me back a little bit. And I was just like, fuck it. I just went in with a torn tricep, still training on it, icing it, covering it up, doing whatever I can. But man, we're, you can, you can take are. the win, Johnny. You can take the win. No. Well, he took not only not only did he take not only did he take the win, he took that check too. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> And I wasn't trying to get caught up in, 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 in Canada with nothing, so I didn't bring nothing with me to help me get ready for that show. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. not 2006 but or that just, but, this is a, but this is a good way to show everybody that, for real, we were just like thoroughbred horses. You know what I mean? Get thrown on a chopping block. As soon as things start to break down, this, that, and the other, people start walking away from you. And so oh, you yeah. start panicking. You know, you don't, you don't, you know, necessarily feel that you know but when the company starts seeing a little bit of this a little bit of that they surely start to break you know break out and leave you by yourself and they're, you're in the panic like, second, what am i right? going to do what am i going to do you know what i mean so i mean you could it's just it's just a really good learning lesson for the up and coming guys is to make sure y'all take care of you take care you know of make body, sure you man. have take certain you, things man. in place yeah oh yeah for but, sure no, but listen, because okay. uh, uh, I was I was coaching you at that time. Uh, there was 2006, you won Montreal. 2007, uh, Darren Charles won Montreal, and uh, Quincy was second. You were third, and Chris was fourth. And, yep. and Chris, yeah, I mean, uh, you reminded me of that insulin thing. I, of course, I don't travel with insulin. Yeah. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to get <laughs> the insulin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold because <laughs> I surely, because I surely had my paper going. Okay, what do I do? Okay. 
And brother, and I came off with death my death, man. You still didn't want to give me a bone, man. Damn, dog. <laughs> hey, but this is died. I almost died and shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is this is funny. Last night about midnight, I'm texting to uh, Chad Nichols, and Chad Nichols talk about '99 Olympia because I put this uh, posing of the top three, right? Oh man, I love that one, man. And then, and then Chad goes like, "Oh yeah, 2:30 in the morning." You know, I cut Chris ordering a fucking Chinese food. They say, what do you mean? He got it mixed up. That is not the show. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I, can, I can up. read no, the he's message. Getting old too. He's getting old, too. I don't care what the message says. <laughs> <laughs> that's no point. That's crazy. What, look, what, look at that body. What year? Ni- body. 99? Perfection. I should have been 99, second. 99, Olympia. Uh, no, 90, I should have been second. 90, 99 was Chris's best, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did not it. have, that is not the same year, dog. He's old now. You talk to an old man, Chad. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like you just got the fire, dog. That was, no, dude. Yeah, that was, was the one I cut for me at. Listen. Uh, that was the year I cut Cormier at 2 30 in the morning God. ordering Chinese food. God. I lying. had to stay there and make sure that everybody in the room ate everything before he did. And so, <laughs> <laughs> this is too funny. They say, uh, it was people, I'm going to ask him about room, that. But it wasn't, it wasn't, I wasn't eating nothing like that. <laughs> hey, Come on, man, I was perfect. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I know, but I was perfect in that show. Don't get asked. I can't do one. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't care. Ready. Hey, listen, I don't really care what he had. I don't care what he had because he looked good. Hey. Fucking uh, good, you know? <laughs> he, he used to play second on that show. Yeah. I mean. Uh, For sure, dude. For I was sure. I was way, 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 way better than. I, I think I was just better than Flex in that show. Hey, and listen. <laughs> they they didn't want to see it. Hey, Master Fit was high as me. Uh, after 99, I, hey, I suppose he didn't want to see it. Go ahead. See it. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, guys. We can't all speak at the same time. Milos, go ahead. Because yeah. I want to say about Chris, if he remembers, 99, I supposed to do the uh, Master Fitness interview with Chris Cormier and I asked him about uh, placing at Olympia. And then I, I asked him, okay, uh, so let's uh, analyze you and Flex and go muscle by muscle, pose by pose. And uh, end up being that uh, Chris said that he had a better forearms. <laughs> yeah. yeah, read, read the interview. You know? Oh my god! He did lots of anything. Just a forearm. Yeah, you gotta okay, get it in when you can. But at the at the, the end of the day, it's always you know this is what I this is. If people ask me, what do you miss in body? Do you miss competing? I said, no, not really. But I miss. The fun that I had with all you guys at certain times, at certain certain countries, certain cities, there was just that's the only thing I missed because I had laughed so much, especially yeah. with Johnny, that crazy motherfucker. <laughs> hey Johnny, 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 Johnny. I swear Johnny, to God, Johnny, Johnny, let me just say it real, real quick because I, I just thought about it. Remember Johnny? I, I'm walking. I mean, I have my little ritual. I do, you know, when I go to Australia. Uh, You've seen as many times, um, <laughs> uh, DJ. I, I, when I come in, I do certain things at certain times, certain ways. Like I got my little rhythm. Every time I get to Australia, no matter what happened before, I get in my rhythm. I just, I get better in Australia, right? So I usually have these, and have they these. love your ass in Australia too. Oh yeah, man. it was ridiculous. <laughs> Dick, that shit, that shit wasn't uh, was unfair, man. You can't go to a motherfucking place and everybody don't give a shit about nobody else except no, one motherfucker in the whole you know lineup. Okay, but you know what happened is when I went there, uh, I went there to guest pose. I saw Tony uh, in, at the Iron Man. He said, you want to come to Australia? He's like, hell yeah, I want to come to Australia. So when I came out there, you know, we did a, a he did a bodybuilding show and no one showed up to compete. No one. So I was there to get the death pole. No one to compete. He got somebody out the crowd to actually do it. So, so I did. I okay, so this hold on, Chris. So there was it was a show. Was it the pro show? No, regular show. So it was, it was a, a it was an show. amateur was show. It? it was an amateur show. You were the guest poser. He had no competitors, but he had audience. Had an audience. Oh wow. Oh he damn. Said he could give everybody their, their ticket back if they want. Or they can stay. We got one guy to compete because he got him to come out the audience. So he, so he picked and, and I, so the show. The show was me. The show was me and him. So, so we ended up doing what? a seminar. We ended up doing a seminar 
we fucking pulling out all the stops, talking, talking, doing the seminar, and then <laughs> I, you know, got ready to go desk post. Get my desk post. I, you know, I, I didn't even sell photos. I just gave them away to everybody. Signed the photos to everybody. Took off my shirt. Gave that to somebody. We left there. We went to a, <laughs> to a we were, we left there. Everybody was happy, you know. Uh, Tony was happy. We, you know, we did it. And then uh, we went to go eat. Especially the, the brother that he got, you gave the shirt to. Right, right, right. The girl, the girl, the girl. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to go eat, and Tony's like, I'm like, Tony, I said, you should do a pro show, man. Forget like this. Like, if you did a pro show, I'll help people come out here, and I'll I'll help you, you know, recruiting people, and I'll like, I, I'll do it every time. Every time I'm able, I'll I'll come and compete. And then uh, he was like, you know, you think so? I said, yeah, man, let's try it. So that's when I was trying to be, you know, helping the whole culture of Australia at that time to come up. And so I was always out there and always trying to help, uh, you know, motivate people to compete and come see these pros. That's why I was always like, even when we go out there, like I'm trying to round up everybody. Hey, let's go do this oh, promo yeah. for the show. Let's go do this. Remember, I'd be out there doing that, right? Yeah. And so, but I was... Uh, you know, so it, it just gradually built up. I ended up winning the first three. I lost the last two. Uh, <clears> but but the one but one of the shows I was out there, I remember I, I'm, uh, I'd go have these pancakes in the morning. I'd fill up. I go ahead. They had these nice pancakes, and I was that Crown. Wherever that hotel was, the, the Crown party. Casino. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, one the Crown Casino it was one across the way from there. Okay, we'd walk and we'd walk over. Anyway, I'm, I'm walking down the hall. I just had some pancakes. I'm feeling good. I'm walking down the, the corridor there. I look. Johnny in the, in the doorway like this. Right. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, Johnny, what's wrong with you, man? Johnny was like, damn, I crapped up. <laughs> I, said, I said, why don't you, you call somebody? Why don't you call me? He said, I didn't want to oh. bug any, I didn't want to bug anybody. Was, yeah, man. I didn't want to bug anybody. It was too late. <laughs> too early in the morning. I was like, oh shit. I was like, so we just got was just some salt water. And I, was, I was like in the doorway like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, was it, happened to, it happened to me one day. Yeah, that was I was the crab and fool, man. I my electrolytes, my uh metabolic <laughs> table was it would, would be so off. Cause I would do so much extreme shit to try to get in shape, huh. you know that I wouldn't Full think about you know, the yeah <laughs> vitamins and minerals and shit that I need to stay healthy. Um, one year out there, man, oh my god, man, I, and I wanted to do a, a podcast about it when I was with Generation Iron, but I never got a chance to do it. And I like to talk about that too, because uh, you warned me about them, Dennis, and uh, I didn't hear. I didn't heave your warning. But before then, um, you know, I'm talking a little bit about, about Craig Titus as well. We're gonna bring him bring him in, into this. And you know, you know, Craig was, I mean, pretty boy. He's just pretty boy, that hair, all that stuff. Can you imagine the money so, he'd be making on social media? Oh my oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine? But, oh my God. But uh we was in Australia, right? And uh and actually uh I messed up and I ain't gonna tell you who told me to do this but it was after the new york pro and i was holding water and i ended up being 15th there so i got some information with somebody and said take some take an l dactone every six hours so i started doing this on friday we flew to australia and shit like that i'm still doing it i'm still taking i'm getting hard as every six man, hours I'm getting, I'm getting sliced yeah i'm getting Keep sliced going. you know Keep what going. i mean <laughs> Not knowing I'm sucking myself just dry, just dry, not really replacing it either. So I get to Australia, fast forward that night, man, I'm laying in bed. All of a sudden, my whole body locks up. Shoot. I was like, oh, my God. It was, it hurt. It was, I was in so much pain. It didn't make any sense. So I end up getting out of bed. I had to, like, you know, keep my body erect because anything I've been, I would just cramp up. So I just kept my body erect, like, Shuffle, shuffle down the wall to keep, you know what I mean, my body straight. I got to the phone. Craig was the only uh, 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 number, room number I remembered. So I dialed his room number. 
he answered. I was like, yo, Craig, I need help, man. I'm cramping up. So he dropped the phone. Doo, doo, doo. I hear him running down the hallway. Doo, 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 doo. Got to my door, knocked on it. I let him in. And uh, he's like, oh, man. Uh, he gave me some quine. He had a couple quine. Yeah, he quine gave me a something. couple quine. I love that shit. I still was cramping really bad. And so he took me downstairs. He took me uh, down the down down uh, the hall to his room. So we get in his room, and we're talking. People always ask how I got here. I was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else every damn day. If I can have hundreds of hours back, you know I'm gonna grab them. Spending hours prepping chicken, rice, and vegetables, F that. I rely on perfect nutrition. I rely on trifecta. And this shit is crazy. I, it was so bad, he started boiling water and taking an insulin needle and started main vein me water, boiled water through an insulin needle, man, while I'm sitting at the table and we're talking. Oh wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Johnny, are you? This is crazy, oh, you man. Had salt it's water, crazy. Man. You let him inject. He, he, you let him IV you in hot water. What was it? Hot. He boiled it first, and then you know did it for after he boiled it. You know, well, so you, you, know, clean, you whatever, must, man. Uh, you must whatever, have been, man. It was you, insane. But you, it but was insane. No, no, no. All right? I, I get it. It must have been real desperate in pain. It was, re- yeah, man. I'm, I'm for, telling you. For me to tell, to who, let someone who just, would do that? <laughs> yeah. Just think about that. Who yeah. would do that unless really? you were in a desperate situation? Milos, Milos, you know what that, I mean? does that make any sense? Zero sense, but uh, you know, look, I, I mean, I'm shocked. I don't know where, where did he even get the idea? Oh, you need to hydrate, let do, let's do the IV boiled water. It was like, uh, yeah, yeah, it was like, yeah, but listen, trying I mean, to do the IV thing. Uh, yeah, because, but anyway, it's gonna be this, shit, this gonna be the thumbnail, this gonna be the thumbnail for this for this video. <laughs> yeah, listen. Well, yeah. So, we did it, so we did a few, yeah. so I sat there, he did a few instant deals, whatever, then we kind of chilled. He did a uh, few, he called, yeah, he called Wayne. Wayne DeMilla was our was our uh, was the vice president then it was Wayne DeMille. so he called Wayne and then uh, Wayne ended up coming to get me and uh, brought me downstairs and Where brought me that? a couple I ate a, a couple burgers and with egg on the top of it you know what I mean I ended up getting fifth in the show still where was this in Australia Australia was that yeah. was was uh, was that the year where when Craig was there with uh, King Kamali yep. Yeah, that was yeah. the one that. Yeah, yeah I was sitting in the meet. I was in the seat in the well, meeting. I was there. Then. Up. I was. So yeah, you had to be. You had to be. Meeting, and everybody uh, was uh, like, "Yo, uh, man!" I remember too. Dexter was like, "Say, Dexter was like, man, Johnny, would you? Why are you to contact us? You could have died, man." I was like, "Yeah, man, you know." Uh, I didn't want to bug just, anybody. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. Hey, I didn't you, want to bug anybody. <laughs> you could have definitely died fucking with Craig Titus. <laughs> but anyway, and then plus, uh, plus on top, because that's the main thing. But plus on top of that, he told me so. We like we got to know at least, you know, not really get to know each other, or whatever. But a little bit, we you know talked for long because it was all night long. He sat with me, and uh, he would tell me different stories about you know different things, and you know it just. <laughs> and I'm looking at him like, man, come on, man, there ain't no way. You know what I mean? Like this dude is too pretty. To be out there doing all this, that, and the other. Right. What are you he saying? was doing. He was doing. Then, all, he was my trainer partner, dog. I know that. Yeah, guy. yeah. But he was after my that, after Charles called me, I think it was about three weeks after that when Charles Glass called me and told me that Craig and uh, uh, what's the name was on the run and Kim was on the run because they found you know Kelly, like the Kelly. girl in the car and shit like that. Yeah. And so I was like. I guess all that shit was true. Yeah. Did, <laughs> hey, I thought I I I heard I heard somewhere that they made a movie. The story was they made a movie out of the the. Um, no. It was, oh yeah. Well, have, you never seen it on, on YouTube. They have stuff everywhere. Like that. I know. Yeah, I'm not I, talking. I mean, I'm not talking about a documentary. I'm talking about a movie. Mm. Yeah, movie oh, documentary. No. They did all kind of shit on them. Yeah. I wonder well, what. When, home, when he met Homegirl, he hit me up on the phone, and I was I talked to him. The day he met her, and he actually brought her to my house. The 
that same day they returned home from guest posting in uh, Florida. So I knew her from the start. I met her first. I met her first before she <laughs> even. There? Yeah, in the back at the Arnold, 1997. I was working the booth for GEN, Jen. You remember that ad with the Viper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. that oh, company, yeah. and Kelly was with me at the booth, and at, that's why I met oh, her. Oh, wow. She was such no, a but I, but innocent, I, no, I, innocent, cute little girl. Yeah. Oh, my and God. And as soon as, she, as soon as she met North Craig, Carolina. it went south, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. But I'm talking about I'm talking about the girl, the other the other girl, the third girl. Oh, the, I don't know. I don't know. She's, she he, he was he brought her to my house. Like, <laughs> I knew Kelly in yeah ninety five or so like that from North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we was we were pretty close, all of us. That's the thing is. Uh, I got a lot of stories, but I haven't spoken about those stories. Yeah, we have, listen, we yeah, have man. listen. We all have. We all, of course, have we so all, so many oh, stories yeah, sure. that we that that we can't even talk about on this podcast you because know what I'm that would they ain't gonna you know. Get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but that, yeah. but at the end of the day, I, when I remember I seen I seen Johnny and I always saw him after the show. And he was always that, that's why I called Johnny a, a one man band. <laughs> he would be going by himself. He would find only, baby. he would yeah, that's he would it. be by himself. No, no. He would be by himself sitting somewhere. Would you when you yeah, least right. expect him, he'd be sitting there having a beer. <laughs> or or a Jägermeister. Damn right. <laughs> hey, you don't forget that. But the one time I remember the the uh, matter of fact, the USA that uh, Milos was talking about, Dennis was backstage. That's when we. I don't know if you you probably you look like you don't remember what that year. Was the first time we we ever ever yeah, spoke yeah. to each other was uh it was not two thousand two thousand USA in Vegas. Um, Quincy Taylor, Quincy Taylor won overall. Right, and right, right. I was backstage. You. And Kim, and uh, Kim, uh, she was back there. She was guest posing also. So you and Kim was back there. Kim who? And uh, not Kim. Um, what's her face? We just got done talking about Kelly. Right, Kelly. Kelly. Remember Kelly Ryan was guest posing, and you were sitting back. Your big ass was sitting back there, and I <laughs> yeah. went backstage. I went backstage. And uh, the motherfucker was looking pretty, too. Nobody was pretty, too, boy. I was like, oh, shit, that's Dennis James. And uh, the motherfucker was in his big ass back there, and he was like, yeah, man, Johnny, man, you look good, but it's Quincy Knight, man. You know? Yeah. And I wanted to be like, man, fuck. But I was like, this, nigga, this motherfucker too big, so. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I just agree with you. I was like, what the hell? What yeah. the hell? Uh, but no, seriously, he was like, yo, Johnny, you look you look good, man. You look really good, but this is Quincy Knight. And I was like, I agree, man, and stuff like that. And then that night is when I saw you at the China, was it China Club? It was, I, I think it, it was in New York. It was at the China, was it? Was it in New York? No, it was in Vegas. No, that was in Atlanta. Man, wait a minute. I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused. Yeah. yeah. That was the first time I, we, we talked was at the Nationals. I know that. Backstage, but, but the, the first, first time, time we had a drink the, together was some, it was in after I think it was Charlotte. It, it was at, no, it was at the Night of the Champions because I got I got qualified for the Olympia at that third place there because Craig. Wait, I, I don't I don't remember, but I think no, it was. It I'm was, sorry, I got fifth place because Craig got fourth. King Kamali got third because. Craig called me. It was like, yo, man, I'm sorry, Johnny. You should have placed higher than me. And I was like, nah, man, you look good, too. It's all good and shit like that. So I remember that. And I remember Craig and King couldn't stand each other at that time. Right. Um, oh, he was so anyway, I got fifth, and, shit. and we went over to that. It was some China club or some shit like that in New York. It was China we going, club. And you was there. And we tra I got you fucked up off oh, of God the Jägermeister. And that's so, where we, we were drinking no, the Jaeger bombs. So, so there was the other bodybuilders in the club, not just me. Did everybody <laughs> act like it was only me in the fucking club? Well, I think you had your shirt. Think you wasn't you dancing with your shirt on? Always, every always, time, every time, uh, yeah. always. But bro, yeah. but they, See, I was new. Everybody tried to act like I was the only one that went to the fucking club. Like Jay Cutler's <laughs> in the goddamn club. Yeah, so but, but, yeah, yeah. but, but Chris, like but Chris, Chris club. was leading the pack, talking to everybody. <laughs> well, yeah, he had the show. Yeah, Chris had the show. 
That's the I, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing it. I was doing it for real. <laughs> Minos, I don't. Do, 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 did you ever go to after parties? Minos was too pretty. Yeah, <laughs> you got, I never you got went to after parties. Sleep. No way. No way. No way. Yeah. I mean, even when I did. I made but Dennis, do you remember that the first time life. we drank? They were fun, though. Oh, hold on, hold on, guys. We can't, we can't talk all at the same time. Milos, this, yeah. what did you say? I haven't been in a in a bar twice in my life. I mean, why, why would oh, I go wow. there? We walked. Drink. Didn't we walk into a gay bar one time in San Francisco? You and I. Yeah. And that was a, that was a, that was a Korean uh, different kind of parlor. <laughs> it wasn't a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> some shit, some shit you keep to yourself. Bro. <laughs> I'm, by, I'm talking by accident, by accident. Uh, by accident. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> one, yes, I, I can't say it publicly, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, first comes, first serve, and I was yeah. like, okay, I'm first. But That's listen, the day I was on there by myself. Yeah. Because you guys are, you guys are mentioning uh, uh, Craig Titus. And Chris is here, and Melvin is there in the house, right? So it was a 2001 San Francisco, and I was coaching both Melvin and, and Craig, and Chris uh, Chris was there, right? So Chris won, uh, and I just remember now when you're talking diuretics and all that stuff, like Craig Titus calls me like, hey, man, you know, it's like 20 minutes before the stage. You know, do, do you think <laughs> if I shoot this fucking uh, Lasix IV, it will work quick enough? <laughs> <laughs> so sure enough he did it you know imagine wow. and he i guess second, second. right what second. Yeah, second. second amendment was third yeah but but craig, okay. craig, okay. craig was off the chart yeah i mean okay, so here's here's the thing here's the thing that day that day is the only is not the only uh, that day i was maybe 14 pounds heavier than I needed to be a day. Wow. And I'm saying, man, bro, what can I do? It's like, let's just, I'm going to just fucking party all night. I'm going to party all night and go right to the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much it is. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sure you made I weight. I'm sure you made weight. I, did, I lost about 10, 10, 10, 11 pounds. Over oh, what? Over oh, oh. what? What did I you think? Say, I can't That's say right now. What do you mean you can't, can't say? say right L- listen, can't say. Chris, 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 the whole world knows Chris Comier. What do you mean I you can't say, say it? Can't you made a whole, that. listen, Chris, you made a whole documentary. Want, Come, you want, made, want, stop it. You made, want, you have an I awesome want, documentary out coming clean about your I'm life. Very, so <laughs> this is. Right now, we're not Shit. we're not I'm, restricted. I'm, 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 I don't want to influence. I don't want to influence anybody. I'm very influential. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Bro, I, I, this guy. Everybody was wearing this. You know what I'm saying? I was wearing this. You know, I was just, but anyway, I was I was I was I was out. I didn't have one ounce of sleep getting ready for that show, and I was like, man, I ate too much. Yo, going to Francisco. <laughs> I ate way too much, and I just like. Oh man, like how can I do it? So I was like, I was 262 pounds on that stage that day, dog. Jesus, Jesus. I was way. I was, I was at 270. I was 275, 278 <laughs> the day Jesus. before. I, I have to come in and say this for one thing. Um, I really appreciate appreciate Chris also, because um, when I got signed on the Muscle Tech, and you remember that big shoot we had oh, yeah. with Charles oh, yeah. Glass and. You know, oh, yeah. Jay yeah, yeah. and us and Branch oh, yeah. and everybody. And, you know, and, uh, me and Branch, of course, was new rookies and stuff like that. And I remember sitting there and seeing everybody come in. And then Chris came in and Chris was like, what's up, man? You know, said what's up, stuff like that. And you had your PS2. You had your new oh, yeah, PS2 yeah. then. <laughs> and you actually let me watch. It was that um, you had me watch a movie on it. It was uh, um Tom Cruise that did that uh, that uh, Chinese when he was a uh, sumero or yeah, a Sith, last samurai. Uh, yeah, yeah, last samurai. Yeah, last, last samurai. samurai. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you let me watch that movie on your PS2. Oh and yeah, shit yeah. Like that, man. And I was like, man, that was cool. <laughs> man, that was the coolest shit, man, ever. And I was like, wow. I, I'm, I mean, I'm, if Chris Kamir is letting me sit here and watch this shit, I'm straight. Nobody better say shit to me. And we did right that. We did now. that. Face, we did that. Uh, that dumbbell row facing each other in that yep, shot. Yeah, I remember that right. show. Right. Yeah, we were doing like three. Hey, I was coming in late because I was like, bro, I was pissed off. Like, man, you got me coming up here at seven o'clock in the morning, 
We're not shooting until 12, <laughs> but you want to round us all up at 7. I'm tired as fuck. Cause I, I don't go to bed till 2 o'clock anyway. On the natural, <laughs> normally, I got to be at 7 o'clock, and I'm just, we sit there till 12, and then we start shooting around 1. I was like, bro, just come get me around noon, dog. Don't come come get me until we sit there. We about ready to shoot, because I don't want to be sitting there while y'all fixing the lights for four hours, man. So, you know? That's it was, I yeah, hate those, that, bro. All those shoes used to run so <laughs> damn long. It was Ten ridiculous. Hours. Ten hours, Dennis. Ridiculous. All right, guys, listen. <laughs> listen, let's 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 talk about something else. Some something that's happening in the next couple okay, of weeks. Okay, but let me let me let me ask you this real quick before we get into that, Dennis. Hold your thoughts. Are you aren't you a strong bodybuilder? Uh you can consider yourself strong Dennis? Who, me? Yeah. Right now, strong. right now, no, no, hell when no. When we at your best. <laughs> oh, before, uh, yeah, your I best. would say I was, uh, I was a little bit stronger than average. You, uh, how, how about you, Johnny? How about you, Johnny? Yeah, the world's strongest. See, you can see yourself. Okay, I, I, and I can hold my own too, right? Hell so, yeah! I'm listening to uh, Buwa, uh Someone sent it to me. This fool talking about. He's first thing he started it off like, I don't want to sound racist. So when everyone says I don't want to sound racist, you know it's something stupid about to come out of your mouth, no matter what. Yeah, you real stupid. Wait a minute. What, well, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. This I, I'd like to hear. Who who are we Man. talking about? You talking about Fuad? Fuad. 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 Yeah. What do you What do you say? He's, he's saying that the black Bible is wasn't strong. Oh really? We only did volume what? and pump. And pump. Yeah. <laughs> Real, really? Black bodybuilders wasn't strong. Well. And I was like, ain't this something? I, thought, I could name a lot of bodybuilders that were black that were strong. I, I didn't know we were I didn't know why I didn't know why he even said that. Oh, it was just pulled out of his ass or something. But I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? Doesn't like, make you sense. Know your history? I you know I make no sense at all. He really said that on his and show. That, Really sat down the but show. You know, and, but and, what what and, was the con you know, what was the context Samson, like? What what, what? Is, Samson, no, he just pulled it out of his ass. I don't know. Samson is sitting there and Samson's like, What? Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? And he was like, Oh, I'm not talking about you, Samson. You are a freak. <laughs> and then I was like, I was like, damn, Samson, stand up. Stand up, <laughs> stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up for us. What did what did what did Sam what did his boss, but I know it's his boss, he can't really say much, but I thought that was him. Some stupid ass shit to say when yeah, if you just look stupid. at the history, dog. Oh. Look at the real history of the sport. I just don't want that. So who does? Say, you can, so who is he? Hold on. Who is he comparing with? Who is he comparing these black guys he, with? He, he said it was only he considered Stanton a freak and 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 and, uh, and, and uh, Ronnie a freak, freak is strong, but nobody else. I was like, wow. I know I did some shit. Yeah. I know Dennis. I know you did some shit. I know Kevin LeBron did some shit. Yeah. You I know Johnny did some one, shit. You can look at, up at the the top 100 powerlifters in the world, and I'm still ranked in in them in deadlift, yeah, so, uh, squat, and bench. So that's you're crazy. You're a bodybuilder. I was you're ranked. A bodybuilder. No, Ed Cohn was the only one in the world that out deadlifted me at 220 pounds. You know, I did oh. 800 and. 826 pounds at 220 weight, body weight. Yeah. Uh, Bro, he literally know, said I, that. I squat, I squat 826 pounds at 220 pounds, body weight. Exactly. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask him how, how, you know, because maybe he didn't mean it. No. Nah. Oh, I'll send it to you, brother. Did you, 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 40, you listen to it? 40 minutes in, yeah. Oh, it got really? sent to me because it was like, wasn't you strong, Chris? I said, yeah, I was strong. Well, I know he's not racist. That, that, that's for sure. Um, okay. You know, so, I, would, I mean. I, I, would, <laughs> I just think it was a stupid thing to say. I just don't like when people start saying, yeah. you don't even need to say the word. Like, we, like, you know what I'm going to do? We, we, I'm going to ask him to come on, on on this old school round table, and then we'll, we'll talk about it. Explain his ass. Sure. Yeah, explain his yeah. ass. Yeah. So. So question, explain your damn He didn't mean it. Yeah. Guarantee it. There was different context. Well, yeah, that's know, that's what I, Milos, Milos, right now. Milos, that's what I think that there was some different context that he's at, you yeah. know, yeah. maybe the, no. So so it was just that stupid. Uh, you, your question, okay. But listen, I've seen that. Uh, I've seen Dennis. Dennis, you can put pushing anything, shoulders, chest, fucking. There's no amount of weight you can put that he won't push. I mean, it's like one of those. 
You know, you would be terrified. Oh, like, oh my God. It's like nothing. And I've seen uh, yeah. uh, you, Johnny, in my Coliseum gym. I mean, he was doing deadlifts with the fucking eight plates and, you know, whichever skirt would pass by. <laughs> <laughs> he would look as he is lifting, you know. I did that before. I didn't turn out well. <laughs> I did that before. Anyway, I just had to say that. Go ahead, Dennis. I know you're gonna. Okay. So now, 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 now y'all got me all confused now. Okay. <laughs> but listen, this all right, we were Branch Warren. Branch Warren, right? Because you and Branch trained together. And you guys are known for fucking freaky strength and all that stuff. But then you mentioned like kind of, you know, it was lately a punishment, not enjoyment and challenge, right? Because you're older, you know, so. It eventually, it, I think it eventually catches up with you. Catches up. It has yeah, to, it's wear and tear, you know. man. Wear and tear, you yeah. know. So you train uh, much smarter, right? Much, yeah. much lighter. Well, of course. But of look, course. it's it's still Johnny Jackson. Don't forget that. Yeah, it's still Johnny Jackson. I see you the know, I see the videos. You know, yeah, uh, you know. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> this he, is he how, goes to China and kills it. It's like if you tried to tell Branch to train smart. For him, this is a smart workout. It works for him. So why would you change yeah, it? It's fun, man. Why this would you change fun it? More than anything else, you yeah. know. It's fun. It, it's worth coming back and doing. It's challenging. Um, yeah. You know, all this, you know, twiddling your thumbs in between your sets and talking to your buddy or, you know what I mean, picking your, your pants out of your ass or whatever like that. You know, I got time for all that. Mm. I get it on. You know, get in the gym, get it on. Yeah. The best hey, thing I is just, that I just, I, I just sent that to all three of y'all. Y'all DM, check it out. Around 40 minutes in, I sent it to you. So let me know. Chris, is trying, hey, Chris is trying to get us riled up. He wants to get No, I'm just ah! it pissed me off. It's Black History Month, Dennis. It is. Yeah, it is. Black History Month. <laughs> but on that note, uh, I ask uh, Ronnie Coleman, like, uh, hey, knowing Dan, what you know now, would you train uh, lighter? He says, hell no, it was light for me. You know? <laughs> but, yeah, that puts that's in perspective. Right. No, it was light for him, shit. Yeah. Man, when you got when you got the bar bending in your hands, five plates rattling on that shit. Oh yeah. my god! It felt good at the time. Yeah, I got to say that. It felt too, real yeah. good. It felt good. I was like, I remember. I, I remember one time I was doing. It was like I was at Coliseum. It was like it was a week out from the show. Matter of fact, I think it was the. Uh, I think I was shooting um, with Mitsuru for Battle for the Olympia. I think it was. I'm not 100 percent sure though. It was close to the show. And I was just doing like one, uh, 180, what's that, four or five on the bench, incline, free. So I asked Sean Ray to fucking spot me. <laughs> he said he was, he was so, he was so nervous. <laughs> um, yeah, but that was. I can picture that too. But, yeah, he was, he was nervous to spot. You could really tell that he wasn't comfortable doing it because if something right. happens, yeah. he, if something, if something happens, what is he going to do? You know, you don't, right. you don't just the, lift four my, or five up on somebody. And those are the guys who really push not working out like that, you know. That's but what me. but it wasn't listen, the guys who, but I who tell actually you, lift it heavy. But I tell you this: I've seen Sean Ray train a few times. He wasn't training light. He trained. I I believe that he trained well, the, like, the smartest know, way like you possibly you can. can, heavy enough but still strict. Right. Yeah. And you know what? Because uh, did. Strong. Huh? Hey, I changed with Sean. Does he yes. did he ever had an injury? I can think he went through it with nothing. Yeah, but listen, yeah. I mean, he would not do that slow squeeze contract. He would go like uh, he would uh, move like it. Apple. He would move it. Yeah, but it was going relatively very heavy and very intense. Yeah, boop, yeah, no, boop, no. Boop, boop, boop. I, I got I got to give him that. I mean, yeah, for sure. His training style, the way he trained, and and in his physique, I mean, we can't knock him for that. Yeah, you know, yeah, you we, can, we yeah, find every when, other when reason. Like, yeah. We find every That's other reason to knock on this look, man, but not for his physique uh, or his strength. Yeah. When you're gonna bring Sean on, on the podcast, huh? I know this dude a long time. That's a big time. Sean on the podcast. God damn! I mean, really. I know this guy a long time, dude. Uh, I've known him since he was. Bring him on podcast. Fifteen, uh, uh, senior in high school. Yeah. I know him. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, man. <laughs> gonna go beat us. I, <laughs> 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 Hey. I seen it. I seen him yesterday out there in Orange County. <laughs> no, yeah. Is, uh, yeah. is he back training? Is he back training now? Uh, 
I think I think he goes in spurts, yeah. like everybody. Yeah, he's like get me. On, yeah. get on it, he's get like on. me. Yeah. He's yeah. like me. He trains one day and then doesn't show up for a month. Yeah. It's just funny he, he because I, hey, he is, definitely ain't missing no meals. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, come yeah. a, he, he come from a family that you know they they can put it on if they want to. Yeah. So let's oh, let, oh, listen, yeah. guys. Let's let's talk about the next big show coming up, the Arnold Classic. Milos. All right. How's Samson doing? Is he still winning Great. it? Is he still winning it? I believe he has a very good chance to okay, win Okay, everybody's it. got a chance to win it, but is yeah, he winning but, it? Uh, but you know, there is a five guys that can go either way. It depends what they look at. I mean, I'm fighting, again, the same battle against uh, uh, Bob Chikrila about judging and all this shit. So what they are really looking. So as he's saying now, everything is considered. Like, oh, yeah, symmetry and proportion and everything is all blend in. Back in our time... We had specifics. It's uh, th three physique rounds. <laughs> now it's only one. So listen, listen. But uh, if 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 <laughs> they, they consider shape, yeah. right? Then of course yeah, Samson is winning. <laughs> you know, Samson is winning. Yeah. Uh, if they don't, then of course Nick on a little bit better conditioning could overtake him. Rami is a big puzzle. I hope that Rami comes, you know, very good at his best, and he's right away contender mm -hmm. right there. And then uh, Bonyak. That'd be that'd be great for bodybuilding. If you did. Yeah, Bonyak is a uh, is serious factor. He won, you know, twice going into the show for Olympia. We were I was considering him, you know, top three going into the show. I mean, how? Yeah, can but, he... but what about Bonac? This thing about Bonac about he's not taking any orals because of his uh, irritated kidneys. Oh or wait a minute, whatever. wait a minute, Johnny. That's what Generation Iron wrote. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, I thought he said that. I thought he said that. He said, no, but he didn't say that he has issues. He didn't say that. He said, he, he no. said he's got medicine that he can't take because he's doing a show and it'll, it'll fight against what he's trying to do for the show. They, I thought I read they, he's not taking oral steroids. I would, because yeah, I thought but he, I thought yeah. he verbally said that. In, Inflamed kidneys. Yeah, yeah listen. This is That's what, what this is what Generation Iron wrote. This is a thumb. This is a fucking clickbait thumbnail. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. It's for, for liver than kidneys, but anyway, yeah. Even if you don't, you still you use uh, injectables. <laughs> so, uh, look uh, at the level that he is in. He is the most dense guy. You know, matured. You know, fibrotic all over the place. You know, and. All four of us here, I know your cycles, Johnny. And if he's, uh, I know Chris is and, and, uh, and Dennis is. And if he would say, uh, Nick Trigilli is going to make uh, another <laughs> video as a lying, you know, we, we take more, right? So I know that uh, we didn't do anything close to what is, uh, you know, being used now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, William was, I was under the impression he's going to come bigger for the Olympia. And uh, and harder, but uh, then the final final result. I don't think he was bigger at all. Right. You know? No. So uh, th this was the issue. And I I don't think bigger is necessarily better oh, for him. Yeah. You need Even to, yeah. filled out, he filled out all he can fill out. I think it's a mistake for him to try to be bigger because he's not going to get that conditioning. Yeah. Of if he, course, if he comes in, be bigger, if, and that's what he needs to concentrate on. Because he needs to show separations between his, you know, between his upper and lower body, you can barely see that separation, and it blends in to make him look blocky. It can, really easy, mm. you know. So it throws off. It, he can throw himself off, and he needs to pose, pose a little bit more with angles. I think he needs if, to stand on can, a little bit but more Johnny, of an angle. But uh -huh. if he can come in looking like he did at the Arnold last year, he's fighting for. The, he's fighting for the title. Yeah. He, right. he should have won last year. Yeah, he should have won last year. He was really, really good last year, especially I after agree. after the bad showing he had at the Olympia. He came yes. back at the Arnold and yes, he was revamped. Yes, for sure. Yep. Yeah. Now I got, yeah, for yeah. sure. So, and then he yeah. won Boston looking crazy. Boston week so, later. Yeah, right, right. So yeah. I think that that's the look that he needs to bring, you know. Yep. And then and then it's and then it's a different ball game. But, uh, you know, I'm... About uh, San Clarita, okay? Yeah. That's you think that, uh, that hit, w go back to uh, Bonnick real quick. You think that the re removing himself from Neil is what, you know, started the progress of the problems? No. I think he had some issues with his quad, which showed. 
I think he kind of fixed that. And he showed it, at the, at, like I said, at the Arnold last year. He was working with Chet for the first time. Mm. You know, and, and, and that worked great. I mean, he came in. I remember when I saw him at the uh, kind of like the meet the athletes at the Arnold. What, I don't know what they call it. It's not meet the Olympics. Yeah, it's the meet the athletes. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's why I saw him. I said, but the fucking, he looked huge. You know, wow. he looked real. I mean, really, I, I, up close, I was like, fuck, he's big. Oh, and, he was guest posing in your show, right? Uh, before the Olympia. And you said you saw him freaky. Freaky. That was before the Olympia. Yeah. He was the same. Still big, full, and hard. But I'm talking about the Arnold first. It's the first time after the Olympia the year before where he got, what, got six? Or what did, what did he place? Yeah. Yeah. The sixth. And yeah. Nine. I was like, you know. And, and then he came back at the Arnold. And I'm like, fuck. He looked like he put on 15 pounds. You know? And... uh hmm. And that's the look that he needs. And that's what, and you know, what I'm saying is he is dangerous. He's always dangerous. Yeah. And I think so it's, you think it's just a matter of distractions. Because he, he built the gym and he opened up a gym and built the gym and all that stuff he was showing there for a while. Mm. So maybe just, you know, he didn't really think it was, but it ultimately was a little distraction I from think, his I training. Think, yeah, I think that something just didn't go as planned. Right. You know, and we all know shit happens. Shit can happen. Yeah. You know, it's just sometimes things don't go as planned, you know, especially when you think you got it all figured out. And then, you know, you think, oh, maybe we can, you know, Milos is what? Maybe we can just, just, just a little bit more. <laughs> I, know, I got a question for, for Milos with mm -hmm. Samson. Do you yeah. think his, his skin color may have a little bit of something to do with what they don't see? Mm -hmm. What they should see and not yeah, see yeah. is maybe his skin because he's really black, and usually that ref the 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 uh, you the sound racist, man. <laughs> well, what? Yeah, well, it is, is what it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it'd, be, uh, it could, it'd be a lot worse than that. Trust me, it'd be a lot worse than that. Bro. You know. Well, listen. Uh, I've seen this. That, that, you know, there was a. You remember Adi Abu? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know. He was uh, like uh, like uh, Dennis's jacket, right? He was like, yeah. and he was ripped to pieces. And yeah. then the stage, he just didn't appear. Like exactly, oh, did just, not appear and, to be. And that's exactly what Johnny is saying. It's when you really that dark. I it's suggest, hard. I suggest, use a shitload of protein and lighten up just a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely, hey, because do you think that? Because that's the main mistake. Good, that's the main mistake because they think they're dark and they don't need it. You know what I mean? I don't mm -hmm. need any tan. I'm dark, but hey. you need to you need to wash some of that darkness out <laughs> so you can bring out so you can bring yeah. out some, bring out some of the separation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right, hey. right, right. I, I gotta throw that in once once again because it's super funny. Chris and I were in uh, Amsterdam waiting for uh, Ronnie to to get to the airport, and then uh, we waited a little bit, and he came on the way to hotel. Chris is asking Ronnie, "Hey, Ronnie, you you have a pro tan?" I said, uh, uh, pro what? I said, pro uh, yeah, No, you know, I was pro born what? with it, right? I was born with it. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, doesn't yeah, use yeah. it. So, so I'm under the impression he is not using it, right? And I'm telling uh, Max Charles, okay, yeah, well, you know, Ronnie didn't use it. So, I said, oh, no, he used it. So, you know, okay, let me text Ronnie. I say, man, did you use it? I said, of course he did. I said, hey, man, you didn't want to give it to Chris Cormier. I said, of course, I was competing against him. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you see, it was always a conspiracy. Come on, man. Always That's conspiracy. Right. That's right. Always trying to keep a brother down. So yeah. I, I did look at, uh, I did look at, look up some more of uh, Nick's pictures here. He, he is in good shape. Yeah. He's in good shape. He's in good shape. I, I still think that. Yeah. Well. What's that? He's a front runner. Going into his highest placing Olympian. Yeah, he's the front runner. He's the front runner. You know, as good as he was at Olympia, actually, I don't even think that he nailed uh, conditioning completely because I've seen him kind of better a like, couple well, of days before. Yeah. Who's it? Who are you talking about? I mean, uh, 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 Nick Walker. He has that okay. super thin, transparent onion skin, like cellophane. You know, you move it, things like, God damn, he, he has that, mm. right? Uh, for Nick, the, the way I look at it, he uh, he needs to have fuller chest to create a little bit more illusion because he has a 
white shoulders, crazy arms, right? And uh, yeah. that would that would uh, you know create that uh, little bit more aesthetic and uh, and shapely. You, you always yeah. see after That's a show when everyone relaxes, when mm-hmm. they start to eat a little bit, the nerves are not there, the body feels right. out a little bit. That's when they get on the Instagram and start showing all this new muscle and all this stuff that they can't bring to the stage, but bringing it to the stage at 12 o'clock or whatever mm. time the pre-judging is, that's that's the real bodybuilding shit right there, you know? Yeah, no matter how big these guys are, it's crazy, man. It's everyone so scared to eat. They get so scared to eat up, you know? And it's like, you know, you, you get better if you, you know what I mean? It's just eat the right stuff, of course. You yeah. do get better. But yeah. You but get you, better. Yeah, but you know how it is sometimes when you fuck up once or twice, you're scared. You know? <laughs> True, yeah, yeah. Even, even before All you fuck up, you just don't want to fuck up. Yeah. But I have to say, that's one of the worst things that we do is we get scared to eat. You know, even when we get full, you know what I mean? It's starting to look good. We want to start backing off because we're I'm good there. I'm good right there. No, eat. You're going to get, man. Um, so that's because you're still burning energy. You're still burning calories. You're yeah. up on your feet. You're doing this, doing that. As so a, as a muscular guy, some of those calories. Yeah, as a guy with the amount of muscle, like an IFBB pro, you don't even have to move to burn calories. Just muscle right. alone will burn calories. You're but you that, brings that. Me, that brings me to our favorite part of the show, starting this week. And that is... Oh. In particular order, I need y'all's top five for this year's Arnold Classic. Coming up in what, two weeks, three weeks, three (coughs) weeks, four weeks? Four weeks, yeah. All right. So I'm going to start with our special guest, Johnny O. Jackson. Johnny O. Jackson. Give me your top five at the Arnold. Do you know the lineup? You diet down. Train hard. And supplement smart for months. When the time comes to step on stage, don't leave your tan to chance. Go with the pros. Pro Tan. Number one worldwide since 1987 and the official sponsor of the Olympia for the last 15 years. Don't step on stage without it. Pro Tan. Uh, no. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Johnny's so focused on the oh, oh, hey Johnny's hey. Johnny's so focused on the masters he don't even know who's competing in the Arnold. Man, I don't I don't told you in the beginning of the show. You said if y'all want to know anything about a show, <laughs> don't ask Johnny. I already set, I already set that up. Right. I already set right, it let up. me let me no. find the lineup for you, and then we'll give you the names, and then you'll choose the five. <laughs> well, out of my head are the people that I know that I think is going to be. All right, who's you know, who's going to win? Who's there, who's going to win? Who, that I'm aware of, that I care to see. No, 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 no. I want you. No, no, I don't want to see. It. I don't want to care. I want your expert opinion. I love well, Johnny. I care o, to man. See, that I care to see because I think they're going to win. Yeah, who's gonna who? Do, you who think's going to win it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh my God. So, <laughs> Johnny's so fucking funny. I swear to God. Yeah, I know, man. I know, <laughs> man. No, man. God, damn. This, this, this shit is real. No, this shit is real. Man. All right. It's, it's, it's All right, then let's stay talk, serious, man. then. Let's be honestly, serious. Let's go. Uh, uh, honestly, I'm pushing for Rami, man. All right, good. Uh, I'll be 100%. You know what I mean? Right. I don't think if this, if this man comes in the way this man's supposed to come in, we all know it's a wrap. Good. You know what I mean, and and so my, uh, he's you know, uh, you don't have to explain it. Just give me the names. Yeah, yeah. So I think you know, it, my top guy is Rami. Um, after that, I got Samson. Samson. Um, I was a fan when he plays high in the Arnold, and I mentioned it on Serious Illness that podcast. You talking about the Arnold UK? I was. Yeah, and how impressed I was, and the only thing he had to improve was his back. Well, he improved. Way more than that, mm. you know what I mean, and then some. So this, I'm a, definitely a fan, 100, and I think for sure, uh, one, two, uh, Rami Sampson. Okay. You know, after that, I got Nick Walker, and then whoever lands after that is on them. But <laughs> that, those, those, are the, those are the three. 
Uh, those, seriously, is, those are the three that I think is serious, whoever, bringing the noise. Yeah, bringing the noise. That's going to be the top three. Okay. That's going to be the, All right. the bread and butter. But, but, but we're going for top five. So we got William, we got Chon Clarita, Kamal, we have um, Justin Andrew. Rodriguez, Andrew yeah, Jack. Right. Well, we got, no, no, no. We got Bonnick. You know, if we want to, you know, finish out. So that's my top three. They got Bonnick. Bon you know, Bonnick. he should be somewhere in there. Um, what about Jack? And then. You know what, man? Um, when I was there at the battle and I saw him and I met him with George, George saw him, come here, Johnny, come here, check him out. And I was like, oh my God, I was like everybody else, overwhelmed, wow, all that stuff. I'm going to be honest, man. When I seen the Instagram post, when he was sitting, you know, before the Olympia, sitting at a table with all this, chilling all this food and all this stuff, they was chilling. And I guess he was he wasn't eating it, but he was at the table with it, so I expected he ate it. So as soon as I saw him do a post sitting at a table with all this exotic food on it, I said he ain't serious. He don't want to win because mm -hmm. there ain't no way in hell you getting ready for an Olympia look like that and gonna be sitting there chilling. You know what I mean? At a table with all this bullshit food, you know, thinking it's okay. And so for me, I, I he lost a step for me. You know, Maybe after I saw that post, because it's all it's right here, and if you ain't in it right here, one hundred percent, the whole all the whole time, not when you want to be, the whole time, there ain't, you know what I mean. You could talk, and and why I would get upset because of the 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 shit talking of, you know, you you look like look at the, what the guy look like. I mean, the guy looks incredible, and you're gonna turn around and show up like that. Mm. He ain't changed a bit from the battle to any of the other shows that he done. He looked exactly the same. And at the battle, they said he was at 80%. It was what George was telling me. 75, 75, 75. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. 75, 60, two, Number. 2%. <laughs> what the hell? That <laughs> yeah. shit don't matter. Yeah. Only yeah. I know that shit was bullshit. It was hot shit. He yeah. showed up at the, uh, you know, at the Olympia, I think, be, be you know looking like hot shit because of his <laughs> stature. You know what I mean? He, the, he, the, man. man I, I swear to seriously, it is what it is, man. Look at the man. The man. Uh, my one of my clients, the next day said, you know, the next time you see this guy, you should tell him he should name himself the template, because there ain't nobody look like that. Mm -hmm. He's got a different physique. He got a different body, and then to go from there and not improve. And smash these guys at the Olympia. I think, man, where the hell's your head at? Mm. Really, with all let's those talk, tools? Let's talk about Jack. Man. Hold on, hold on, Johnny. We got one more for fifth. Oh my God, fifth place. Uh, so is Andrew in, uh, in a top, top five or no? You didn't put Andrew in top five. Not, not yet. Oh, yeah. No, no. You put I one at four. I can't. We got. Yeah, we I got, know. We got, I, I can't put him. We, I Sean Clarita? Box, but, but they, nah. Sean Clarita? Yeah. I don't know. See, I don't know, Danny man. Uh, huh? <laughs> and can Sean Clarita get up in there? Or no? Uh, oh, he's going to get smashed. I don't think he's going to get smashed, per se. Um, but he's the champion of the li little big guys. Right. You know? Uh, so even though he did be and what about William bigger guys, no, William, I got fourth. William, I said he'll get, oh, okay. he'll be in fourth. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so if, it, if, 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 if it's the last two I had to pick was the Clarita, Clarita and Andrew Jack. Um, God Wait, God damn, that's hard. Rodriguez and, and uh, Akeem Williams uh, entering and uh, uh, Patrick Moore. Yeah, Justin Rodriguez and Justin uh, Rodriguez. Uh, Akeem. Uh, well, we're only going top five. Uh, we only be five. And I'm a fan of Akeem's. I, I said it before. I'm a fan of Akeem's, but it's just a little bit off, man. The physique is just a little mm. bit off. Just Still, give me, just I give mean, me a name, just for the hell of it. Ah, uh, shit, man. I don't know. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put shit as fifth place. <laughs> He'll be happy Ooh. with that. No, because she said, oh, shit. I thought that's his first, be happy with first name, first name, all last name shit. I don't know. He'll be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, I guess we could put, we could throw, I mean, 
just uh, I guess Bro. I don't know, man. See, the, the problem is, is like I said, Andrew come off, and Sean is is, is complete, hmm. but just the size alone, Andrew should beat him. You know yeah. what I mean? But if he comes in that same condition, I can see Sean, yeah. you know, inch yeah. him out. You know, so we'll see. You know how this guy show up. So five six. Andrew, Sean, so can go back and forth. Just give me one. Andrew, I'll say, right, just Andrew. for for, for size-wise. Okay, good. Chris, come on now. You're just going to stay me next. I yes. just knew it. It don't matter. We all going to get it. it. We all going to get it. Okay, so let's say I saw Andrew yesterday. Uh, did not see him pose. Would not pose. He wouldn't pose for you? We're not pose. Ooh, did you uh, add, did you ask him? Damn right, I had to. Right, I had to. Ooh. I just want to see an ab check, you know. But he didn't want to do it. Uh, Andrew, chat. I, I went up there to to, uh, to film for uh, Olympia TV, and uh, you know we we watched him work out, did legs. He trained up here in, uh, in Redondo Beach with uh, Cycle Lewis, mm -hmm. and uh, he's working with Chris Aceto. So he Johnny, so he changed coaches from Chris Estito and also uh, I respect Psycho. that. I don't think he was happy with the way he looks, and I think uh, he wanted to get uh, leaner. If he's gonna be harder and he's gonna be doing more strenuous stuff than he's done before, because I don't think he was training very hard, in my opinion, at all. And I think he's training ten times harder now. Whether whether I, I think those things. Those elements are going to help you be way better. Absolutely, 100%. It's going to be way better. Uh, with that being said, um, I know I had Nick Walker first. <clears throat> that would be a better body if it's grainy, grainier than, than Nick Walker. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen it exactly yet. Does Andrew, does Andrew have to be in the same condition as Nick to beat him? I think he needs to be way better than better. what he's ever shown. I know, he but be better. The, the question was, does Andrew have to be in the same condition as Nick to beat Nick? I would say. Okay. Better. I would say. All right, so Chris, I would, give I, me I a... I mean, it's going to look different. Give me a top five. Still, but, but since I you didn't still, see him, I you, still, you since said, I didn't see him, I'm going to still put him second now. Okay. So, I didn't see him. Okay, so a, Andrew, thinking, Andrew in I'm second. Thinking, yeah. All right. But well. I had him down. I'm still going to put Nick first because you have the top place in, and he didn't get worse <laughs> mm -hmm. on Olympia. Uh, I'm going to put, if Rami can improve, I'm going to put him up in up in there. Also, could possibly be first. Could possibly All right, fall could, third. It's, there's no possible first because you got I, Nick, Nick in first I, and I, Andrew I, in I, second. So, I'm Rami. Out there, I put him out there to have tape on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Rami, you got Rami in third? Yep, and then I got fourth, Samson, fifth, William. All right. I like all my right. lineup better. All right, <laughs> Milos, it's all you, baby. All right, all right. Going into the show, for sure, Nick is front runner, and he's gonna come better than Olympia. He's so popular. Well, we, well, we don't know that yet. Hmm? Yeah, I, I could hmm? see it coming. Yeah, things can happen. Things can happen. I mean, what you but with all that being a highest placing, mm -hmm. beating everybody that is going to be competing, uh, and they're going to say I'm Nick Hater. I don't see him winning. And uh, you know, so there is uh, two different things. What I think uh, it should be, or what I think judge is going to do. So this is a little problem. Yeah, we don't ask okay. what the judge is going to do. We ask what you think. Yeah. But I think. Yeah. Oh, if I would think uh, the Samson would win, uh, Andrew Jack would be second. Uh, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm writing as you speak. So. But this is what, what I would think, okay? Not okay. what I think it's going to be. You know, then you're so off in placings. No, but, who cares? For me, for me, uh, Samson and Andrew, uh, future of bodybuilding, beautiful physiques, one of those, oh, my God, how can you go wrong? Of course. Hey. It, yeah, I'm on, I'm on the podcast. <laughs> you sitting in it's the my client. It's my, hold on, I'm gonna show her too. It's hey, my hey. client. 
Hey, he's out there in the rain. Okay, we're almost done. You can do some yeah, fucking yeah. lunches around. Right, some guys. Fucking lunches. <laughs> I just want to make sure he's alive. We just need a couple of more minutes. A couple of more minutes and he's done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, all right, Milos, I got Samson in first, Andrew in second. Go ahead. Number three. Yeah, but this is what I wish. Oh, right? well, come on Nothing now. Even... Give me your prediction. A prediction where judges going to... No, gonna ha- don't predict oh, what the... Oh, come on, Milos. Milos, come on. Milos, Milos. stop... Pre- okay, so let's be Stop predicting. Milos. Stop let predict. No, no, hold, wait, wait one second, one second. We're not predicting what the judge is going to do because we can't predict that. What we're doing here is we think from what you as an expert... How do you see this going down? I, I would never... Even when I was giving you Olympia prediction... I wasn't giving my opinion of how I would judge. It's like what well, I think. Well, damn, we're doing do. that now. Okay, huh? but so now you know. Well, let's do, let's do so, something different. So now we know <laughs> we want your honest okay. expert opinion. Uh, okay, if I would be judging, it would be uh, Samson first. I, I do think that Rami is going to come improved uh, because he him, he must. But I would still, I prefer Andrew Jack's physique over Rami's. So if I'm a judge... I would give uh, Andrew Jack second. Okay. He came off. He was 70% in Texas. Okay, if if the, we, we don't talk about that now, yeah. what he was but, back then. But, but here it is. Yeah, he was off at Olympia, and he plays still on top. He won Arnold Classic being off. So he had the ability to, to appear, especially from the front, really ripped, even if he's uh, slightly off. Like Chris, myself also, we were not sometimes super dry and... Uh, and condition, but uh, because of the uh, deep separation and tie-ins and so you create that illusion. Uh, right. Andrew has that from the front. Right. Does have yep. it? Okay. Three. Andrew I, loses from I the think his back going to be better. What? I think his back's going to be way better. Back the whole back. Yeah. Side so be I'm impressed with Andrew, but uh, Rami is going to be third, close third. It could be if you see Rami at his best. And uh, listen, uh, he he's going to be bigger. Lights out. I always see when I make a prediction, I yeah. pre- I, I I assume everybody's gonna come in at hundred percent. Right. Uh, if it's everybody hundred percent, then that's how I'm predicting. Yeah. So we're not predicting of okay if he comes Still, in, okay, he could be I'm first or he could be last. With my view of bodybuilding, hmm. Samson Andrew top two, uh, third is uh, Rami, fourth is gonna be Nick, and uh, uh, fifth. I love Boniak, but I would give it to Sean Clarita because uh, Boniak is not much wider than than uh, uh, Clarita, and Clarita comes that dance full, you know. It's and uh, Clarita is narrow, but uh, William is narrow too, you know. So it's not gonna overwhelm him there. Clarita is complete. Legs are thick, hamstring, uh, quads are, uh, you know, sweeping. Rock hard. It's like mini Ronnie, but it's still mini, right? Mm. Next to those four guys. The four wait, guys wait, 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 wait. When you say mini Ronnie, you, see, here's the thing. The only thing problem I got with that is Ronnie had so much shit going on through his back, <laughs> through his glutes, <laughs> all the way down yeah. his damn leg, from his hip to his lord to his damn where his knees are. Is striding all the way down. Yeah, listen, so that was a little bit different. That was Ronnie for me. That that's what beat everybody from the back. So, hey, come on. Still, I'm not the <laughs> I'm not the first one to to mention the resemblance, <laughs> and uh, it is, it is. I mean, mm-hmm. so it is mini fucking dynamite, Ronnie. It's not exactly, but it could be compared. Right. Yeah. It's just right. It could. The down, it just down looked down like it. those arms. <laughs> Downfall on the on the. Uh, Sean is that he's really narrow, 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 right? Even though he can open up in the front of your legs, okay? A lot spread is weak. And uh, uh, most muscular, he squeezes his shoulders in. Yeah, it's the chest, chest. And chest. Yeah, so, you know, I don't see him beating 100-pound uh, heavier guys, even more, 120. I mean, uh, uh, both, Andrew, no, not Andrew, even Andrew Jack. Andrew Jack, Rami, and... Uh, Samson is gonna outweigh him, but by, by over hundred pounds, hundred twenty. So how how are you gonna allow this to happen? Okay. So final, uh, Samson winning, uh, Andrew Jack second, Big Rami third, Nick Walker fourth, 
and uh, uh, Clarita the fifth. Cognac. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. And this and listen, this may very well change next week. Of course. Okay. It so I got, and I'm going by everybody's looking the way they can look at their best. I'm going Rami, Nick, Samson, Bonac, Andrew. That is my so top five. For, that is my top Should five for this. Nick? Yeah. That Wait, is my, Nick, Nick, who's winning? Rami. Rami. And who's second? Nick. Samson. Samson. Third. Andrew. Bonac. <laughs> okay. So let, let's, let's, now my question to you guys. Best physiques out there. Best <laughs> physique. No, no, because uh, yeah, here, here's yeah. a Chris Cormier, right? Chris Cormier was epitome of best physique. He, you know, because beauty of bodybuilding, right? Complete. Everything is there. So how does Rami beat uh, uh, Samson and uh, Andrew? Size. Oh, all at their best. How much size is he on them? Which? The whole, and I understand what you're saying. Their, their physiques are pretty, but Rami physique isn't ugly. Yeah, it isn't ugly. But listen, exactly. he's isn't ugly doesn't mean it's pretty. That, but that's it. See, that's, that, that's you don't got to go no further than that. Those Samson and Andrew physiques are pretty. Rami physique isn't ugly. Yeah, yeah, but okay. their physiques are as big and as full as Rami. Yeah, well, we, 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 we've been going through this for so long where, you know, yeah. how many Mr. Olympias did we have? How many Mr. Olympias ever in the history of the Olympia show yeah. won the Olympia because they had the prettiest physique? Give me one. I, I don't know. Lee Haney. And that's it. Yeah. And that's yeah, it. That's I what agree. I ask. I agree. You ask me for my opinion or what I think judge is going to do? No, I'm not asking you how, what the how, judge is going to do. do. You rate, how do you rate Rodin for me as one of the best? Pretty, yeah. but I don't think he was the best because he, uh, his, no. upper, his upper body was What do you rate? What do you rate? Because you know what? Phil was that much off. And if he wasn't that much off, yeah. he would have got Sean. I don't think Phil yeah. was off when he lost to to uh, Sean. I think Phil yes. Phil's gut just for the second year was for the judges something to say well, no. Man, that much. It was a reckoning. Yeah. That's all yeah. it took. Yeah. But it That's, took an excuse. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. It was that much. It was just that excuse that they needed to give it to him. It wasn't his physique was prettier than Phil's. It was, you know no, he's got saying? no, he's got was, pretty. I mean, and Sean Rowan had pretty. Sean had a pretty physique, especially with the of tiny course. waist, the super tiny waist. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, and, but what I'm and and he, he Sean's didn't, didn't totally, and I think Sean's quads. No? Listen to this. I think Sean's quads was some of the best out there ever. Incredible. Yeah. In Front incredible. to side to back. Incredible. Chris. Incredible. Chris is looking at me like, wait a minute, what? Yeah, come on, real deal. We know who the real yeah, deal yeah. is. Sounds, sounds, sounds oh, yeah. 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 We don't get it fucked up. We don't get it fucked up. Let me hear it then. Let me hear it then. We don't get it fucked up. We don't get it fucked up. Yeah. So. But, but hey, I, Dennis, Dennis, you ask us the last time, like, what's the worst physique in bodybuilding, right? Now, <laughs> I'm asking a simple question, but you're, you're politically correct in that answering. So how does uh, Rami's physique beat uh, Anders and, uh, and Samson's? With uh, this is just the exact the exact same reason that Dorian Yates beat all these guys. Well, yeah. that's a judges. No, well, that's well, the man. same thing. No, they know judges. You know, because listen, judge, if, and I totally agree. if that if that I totally agree, Milos, Milos, if that was yeah. classic physique, I don't think he would rank up there. But yep. it's bodybuilding, and I think because the yep. way our bodybuilding is in the last 15, 20 years, yep. this is made for Rami. You you can ask Branch because when I won overall at that nationals or whatever this that and the other we started working out and that week we started working out I was like yo man I said you are what they want I said because I said that all that thick muscle you know what I mean fullness you know what I mean round you know and it, it, and he was like man your physique is what I always dreamt about. The, your physique was 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 the physique that we always put up to where it was a bodybuilder physique, you know. And this is the physique everybody wanted to accomplish. You so know what I mean? You. But but I knew 
Branch's physique was, was what would be a winning physique on stage. Uh, because of all that, that big, full, dense muscle. Not because of the pretty V taper, the small waist, this, that, and the third. You know what I mean? It's like Dennis said, it's bodybuilding. We want muscle. We want yeah. muscle. We want a lot of it. And if you got a good enough physique to put enough on it to make it not be ugly. I do understand, but Johnny, I do understand where Milos is coming from now, and and and, and I'll, I'll I'll explain it this way. When you look at at Samson, for instance, okay. he's got pretty physique and a fucking shitload of muscle. It's yeah. all there. It's he's, all there. He's a I just I he's, he's a, hi a hybrid. He's a hybrid now, exactly. Now he is. But, he I is think, value, but I he think, but I think, I think for he him, he wasn't. He wasn't. And now he is. I know. You know, over the last months, he's created the hybrid look. So he's got to he's got to convince everybody that is going to be consistent and consistently still get good I, and not yes. have maxed out yes. I as think, well. I what, think. What's your, what I mean? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think that for Samson, the time will come. I think Absolutely. if he he has 100%. to prove himself one more time what? at the Arnold. You and then stay consistent yeah. and prove that prove himself one more time. Is his. Samson needs more back. He gets more back than he's gonna be like a hard hard to handle. I think so does people. so does Andrew. And if Andrew come gets better from the back, he's just just as unbeatable as Samson can but be. I guarantee you, Andrew gonna have to put on some more size because if Andrew come in the condition that he should and as tight as he should, he's not gonna be as big as he's appear yeah. to be big right now. I think. So I think and that's what he's gonna have to balance out. He's got to find that good condition and that good look. Yeah. But also, he's gonna have to improve that size once he does. And, and this is still just just a little bit past his first year. Competing in the yeah. I think Sam, I yeah. think I think Andrew needs he needs from the side especially more hamstrings. His yeah. hamstrings yeah. is not is not up to par. It's not uh, thick as uh, as Samson would be. But but here it is. This is super interesting. So he needs Brent, the Milos uh, protocol. That's what he really needs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, hey, Brent. <laughs> you know, listen. Brent was telling uh, uh, Johnny, "Oh, your physique is what it's supposed to be." But Johnny is telling Branch, well, but your physique is what they're going to choose. Okay? That's right. And it's, here it is. Left size is bodybuilding. This size is muscle building. So what do we want? Oh, uh, okay, listen. But you say, <laughs> you build a physique that is not ugly. It's pretty enough. Why is this even considered? It should be pretty physique. All and that's right. what they choose. We got because the, some we, of the pre physiques got Milos. some weaknesses. Yeah, we got we got, got some we missing got body parts. We got that. But when somebody got <laughs> yeah, we shit got load that. of ton not, not of muscle, huh? Considering not missing, like Chris here, you know. <laughs> Consider it. So, uh, but, but that. listen, all right. So Chris wasn't missing any body parts. Okay. Yeah. Milos. Uh, he, Milos. Chris. Been, Chris wasn't missing any body parts. Correct. Oh, right. Yeah, exactly. So why didn't Chris win the Olympia? Because the judges didn't fucking pick me. Yeah. That's it. I have to say, so, I don't think so, I'm, 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 but hey, so I'm going to so, bring, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring, bring you this. But, <laughs> but I have to say, Chris, because of the competition that you was going up to, you could have been a little thicker. Okay. 99. 99. Wait, 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 wait. From wait, the wait, side. From the side. When you turn to the side. I'm telling you. Uh, uh, and I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to put you up on game. <laughs> I was I was less shot up than a lot of my competitors. Absolutely. And leave, I agree. I'm going to leave it at that. No. But, but that's and the, if the judges are going to judge it correctly and not just be wild by Bullshit. Sometimes, yeah. I agree. I mean, but I knew. But like I pudding, said, dog. yeah, I know. I know. I I agree with you. Game. But like I but like I said, when I looked at Branch and saw that this muscle, I knew I what said, was going to happen. And I, what I'm I saying said, is, you were complete, wasn't missing nothing, but you could have, from front to back, could have been a little bit thicker, denser. Yeah. Chris, that's okay. all I'm saying. Don't, and I think that would have made Chris, like a, uh, I was. I was three cc's away from winning, Jenna. <laughs> Chris, Probably Chris, it's been Chris, Probably it's been twenty three years. Hey, Probably Takes... not even that much, man. I don't care. <laughs> he will die for this. Okay, that's right. 
I'm trying to defend myself to the end, my there friend. There you go. There you go. Hell yeah. But that's realness, why. But that's why. That, but Milos, that's exactly why. Why I'm picking Rami because realness. he's like like Johnny said because I think he has good shape. Oh yeah. For a guy his size, you know what he I'm does. saying. So Absolutely. and and Absolutely. and yeah, I mean, if we judge it like we would judge classic look, of course. I mean, there's other guys that you would have to you know put in front of him, but you know the overall the the combination of crazy body parts, yep, crazy size, and if he brings the condition, that's just what it is, and that's why Chris didn't win the Olympia. That's why Flex yep. never won the Olympia. That's why Kevin yep. never won the Olympia, and that's yep. just the way it was. And it's yep. been like this now since we should be used to it. We all, we, we, as we call us all experts, we call us, we call us all experts. We should already be able to pick who has the best shot of winning the show. Yeah, best shot uh, is Nick Walker. If I told the Jay Cutler, if you give me one million, okay, I all right, one guy. that proves the point. Where does Nick Walker rank when it comes to symmetry in this, in this, and with these guys? Out of top five. Yeah, see, he, that's what I, that proves yeah, the point. That's why so I why said bring back the same right. Okay. I know, I know, I know. Me, me I mean, know. listen, Bob Chick is t- telling this shit. Oh, yeah, everything is considered. It's not. Symmetry was no. aesthetic, guys. No. You're taking this out, you're bringing the symmetry aesthetic no. down. But but he, it is true, but, but he Friends was telling the truth. He, so he was telling the truth, Milos. Right. Everything is considered. Just some things ain't considered more than others. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Listen, when you have to put the finger yeah, it's on... It's all in different you, you percentages. Have to, just like this, when, when Dennis asks, what is Nick Walker in the symmetry round? Not in the top five. So That's he would right. get uh, that many points. If it's fifth place, 25 points. Yeah, gain in uh, muscularity, but you're not going to overtake you know, somebody that is uh, more symmetrical, like he used to be. And the other thing is, why are there, you say, eight mandatories? Why only eight? Because before we had, let's bring like front, no, no, side double biceps, okay? How many people are going to look good in a side double fuck bicep? Side. How the fuck you do a side double bicep? Like what Arnold. Are you talking about? Like Arnold. Well, like hey. this, Like, uh, uh, yeah, the, the, the Sergio Oliva, you know? So why am I telling you this? Because here is you can expose. You want a aesthetics. You want a flat stomach. There it is. But you don't want to do it. Okay. So many other poses. Why don't we have a? Why don't we have a classic pose of choice for open bodybuilding? Okay. You have a eight mandatories. Why don't we expand? So before it was they say posing round. It was not posing round. It was non mandatory poses round. When Chris Cormier and the Kevin Leveroni can do 20 well, other poses. Wait a minute, Milos. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, please, man. Yeah. You you competed up there just like I did. I ain't doing no more than no eight mandatory poses, man. You know how yeah, taxing that shit is? We, still, we should you all still remember that. You in that condition. So <laughs> you have that during your free poses. Through your free pose round is when you show all that side and turn and all that stuff yeah, yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So everybody's got a chance to do it. Yeah, Today, but, but listen, got it's not being it. judged. They don't have to implement it. They don't have to implement listen. anything. They got a chance to do it now. Okay, yeah. So, uh, good, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah new flash blood. Okay. <laughs> so, new, new blood. Round, <laughs> no, hello. Symmetry round, you can pose front, side, back. You stand there straight. That was a symmetry round. Muscularity, eight mandatory poses. Just that, nothing else. Okay. And then posing round, it's not posing. You know, Bob say it's a choreography artistic. And no, it's non-mandatory pose round where you can show your strength of your physique, 20 different poses, whatever you want, another back shot, another ab shot, another something, right? That's what I but, but, how but, did but, Arnold? Wait, hey, wait, uh, man. Wait, but yeah. with my with with what I remember. Okay, and I ain't done this not too long ago. Huh? But I remember with your you come out and do your mandatories, okay? Yeah. And you within your mandatories, you create your own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you have to you do have eight to do, mandatories. You have to do those eight poses, but you go into those eight poses any way you ple- you're pleased. Yeah. Yes, of course. So you can go in angles, you can show all the shit that you're talking about showing. 
during your mandatory poses. So why? What are you talking about? We need to add on more you have poses one minute. than mandatory uh, pose uh, yeah. when you Let's got a see. chance to twist, to turn, to do different things in between them and getting into the mandatory pose. That's yeah, good enough. You got Johnny, enough time. It's a one minute and, that you have. One minute that you have. How much in one minute? Who the hell want to do that have? more than one minute? I, <laughs> I never want huh? to do it more than one minute. I'm worn the hell out. I go in the back. I drop on the goddamn ground. <laughs> Why the fuck with it? Talk. Hey, hold you on a second. Just, you, hey, you can't just talk about what you think people should do. You got to think about the athlete, the condition the athlete's in, and what I they do. can do. It would help. Well, you know what I'm saying? You build, so you you build your body. Body. You talking all this stuff. You talk about piling all this shit on top of a guy who's been starving, who's depleted of water, and all this stuff. Are you out of your mind? You want somebody to pass out and end up to, in the hospital? Johnny, hold on. Wait, 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 Come wait, on, wait. man. You could not get Kevin Lebroni off the goddamn stage. He would pose for 10 minutes. You could not get the <laughs> Francis Bifado, Lila Brada, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You could, but you a goddamn bodybuilder. You're supposed to pose. That's... You, you play football, you play I agree. football. You're a bodybuilder, you pose. What, do you want to pose for one minute? What the I fuck, I agree. Man? Yeah, no, I agree. But everybody agree? isn't Kevin LeBron. Everybody isn't, everybody isn't Kevin LeBron. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, hold on, hold on. Kevin. All right. Hey, I don't uh, look good. Hey, guys. I don't look good posing Hello. like Kevin. Hello. Hello. Like Hello. You know what I'm saying? Hello. I, I lo hey, I love I think Johnny I, I want to come back. Oh, oh, hello. I, I love you guys and I appreciate I appreciate I the debate. I appreciate the debate, but we had this debate a couple of times. You had a severe debate with Bob. We still we still right at the same place. So we ain't moved we ain't moved an inch yet. Thanks. Pretty much. But Milos, we all just, know you. Just moved the shit from the other side but, of the room. But we we all we all know Milos's point. We all understand exactly. Yeah, for sure. We see yeah. you're passionate about this posing round. I got I'm a, I got your back. I feel you. Just bring it back. Just it's just it back. you know we can beat I, I we can beat the, we can beat this dead horse for another year. Uh, but here, just question to Johnny. Johnny, okay. how do you remember like first four Mr. Olympias? I love Larry Johnny, Scott. Man. Now think of this, Larry Scott. You remember? Remember what we said earlier? Don't ask Johnny if you really want to know something. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, Oliva. hey, hey, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Think of this, Larry Scott. Which poses do you remember? Spitz Oliva. Which poses do you remember? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Which poses do you remember? Frank Zane. Which poses do you remember? Mandatories. Or everything else but mandatories. Okay, That's Larry Scott. Larry thing. Scott. I remember the Scott curls. Does that count? Yeah, the, the all the poses. No, the Think Scott curls. Frank Zane. You know all the poses. Arnold. Christian, you know this is bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the posing routine was poses other than mandatories, where you have a freedom of choice. But right. what you were saying, what you were saying, Miller. Everybody just wants to think of athlete. We just want to pause for one minute and pack off backstage. You build your body for 20 years. You build your, now, you didn't, your now, ass I didn't my, now, and you don't want to present it. Say, okay. I didn't hear myself say fuck off backstage. Okay. That's what you said. <laughs> you know, you're going to see it on the tape. All you right. want, you want it. You want it just one minute and then let the athletes rest. You build that body for 20 years. Don't you want to show to the world? Only and not the, just mandatory. Um, since we, of course. hey, since we, hey. since we are at the end of the show, <laughs> let me, <laughs> let me get one more thing for the for question for y'all. Since we talk about posing, who is the best poser of all time, Johnny? <sighs> Woo, Melvin and Anthony, Milos, Lila Brada, Chris. Come back to me. Uh, I, I say I also say Melvin. Melvin is most entertaining. And wait, 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 wait. Now, not, not, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Not only was he. No, hold on. You ain't let me finish. You ain't let me finish. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Johnny. Go ahead. Let me get, let me get this. I get you, you know, before. Yes, he's entertaining. One hundred percent. That's what the routine is all about. But Melvin can do any pose. You or anybody else can do, mm -hmm. you know, where it's artistic, whether it's dancing, whether it's straight up in your face, 
and make that shit look good. Right? Right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But listen, okay? And I know that Melvin is there, and I love Melvin and his I'll, routine. Yeah, but we can, we can say I if he's still, here or not. I would still put Labrada over him because of uh, uh, variety. I don't know why he had to say. I don't even know why he's saying, I know Melvin is there. Like, I'm saying this shit yeah. because Melvin's there. Yeah. You know, I, I'm saying I, I this shit because that's, this is what I believe. You know what I mean? And the only thing you got to do is go look through the shit. Yeah, yeah, all these guys with the artistic, you know, uh, it's the hard, it's uh, a hard question. No, you know, no, no. Like Milos, Mi Milos, yeah, Johnny, let me say something real quick. Milos is, is also a great poser. And of course, I understand oh, why yeah. I, I understand why Milos says Labrada because he's posing oh, classic yeah. only. Oh, man. But uh, yeah. the fact, the fact. Hold on, on, hold on, man. hold on, hold on. And the fact that Melvin can can do that and add the entertainment value to it, yeah. that makes him for me the best poser of and all I, time. But, okay. but not only that. It makes sense. If you know, really know how to dance, if you know how to pop and lock, if you know the history, if you know all that shit, and you watch a lot of these guys, like Darren Charles, if you watch him do it, his shit don't make any sense. <laughs> Melvin makes sense. His yeah. shit tells a story. <laughs> his, his shit don't make any sense. sense. So you need to know <laughs> what you're looking at yeah, yeah. In, the history, in the history of it before you can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, okay, there's a lot hey, of you see, hey, that you should see. And that shit don't make no weird, damn sense. It's, right. just weird, it's, just a weird, yeah. it's just a weird question for me because I've seen like so many greats from Muhammad Makawe was such a, my, one of my favorites. Uh, Ed Corny. Ed Corny, but... You know, Melvin Anthony, you know, it's, it's like our little brother, uh, Vince Dennis, Taylor. Dennis, you know that. Uh, Vince Taylor, you know, Sean Ray, uh, all these people have brought me so much. Holy, you know, like mm -hmm. you didn't want to go, you don't want to go after those people on the stage when you're going to do your own routine type of people, you know. So yeah. it's just a mixture of like that all in my mind. So yeah. it's hard for me to say, you know. Can just one, one more. All, all those guys. Milos. Just one thing. Milos. It's fun. And you, and you don't want to go after it makes sense. Taylor. It makes sense. Go ahead. If you think posing is a posing for entertainment value, what Sean Ray says, emotionally moving, earth shattering, and all that stuff, right? But uh, is, if I'm talking third round of judging, judging the physique, Lila Brother showed more. Lila Brother would show fucking... Uh, 50 poses in perfect sequence, you know, changing the levels and everything. Okay. You're right. But, uh, You're right. And you got, you got a point there, but yeah. who will get yeah. the standing ovation? Yeah, I know. So, so when we talk about this. At the I end of the day, at the end of the day, don't we always say that the, the, the routine one. is for the crowd? Yeah. But listen, I, I, I support giving, giving the money, giving the money to the best poser and to entertain the crowd, give mm. the money. But the third round, as it was before, it was physique round. Show me the physique. Okay. Not the movie. So, so you. I, so what do you think? So what do you think? If let's say we do bring back a physique round, we're back in our time, and they said we're going to judge the posing round. What do you think if they would tell Melvin and said, Melvin, you can't dance, you can't do no show, just right. simply pose. You don't think he could hang with the best of them? Oh hell yeah! Hey, Melvin, mm. listen, let's Melvin, see, is Melvin. Let's see you. Melvin can do anything. Here, Mel. Listen. <laughs> uh, I, I was in uh, John Brown's house and Melvin was there videotaping me. Okay, John was showing me to do shit. I couldn't do nothing. And here comes, he goes, Melvin, you do it. And Melvin does it perfectly like this. It mm. was nothing. It's like 10 different fucking moves. I tried for one hour and I looked like an idiot. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and Melvin did it. So he has Melvin, it. Melvin will steal some poses too. We, hey. Oh, a lot of people, you, you know, you know, <laughs> he, hey, hey, he be he be biting some moves. Oh man, carbon <laughs> copy of shit. Blue, but you know what? But you know what? Can you imagine? A lot of people were happy that he knew that Melvin. You know, he, if he come in shape, that'll be like this. 50-50. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he been yeah. ate something. Hey, he been ate yeah, something. Yeah, uh, yeah, there lies the problem. <laughs> He yeah. being an ate some shit. <laughs> hey, listen, guys. Listen, I got to wrap this up, man. I appreciate Johnny, man. Thank you. Go ahead. Do handle. Take care of business. 
I appreciate you, man, and I'm looking forward to hey, seeing you. Gotta you gotta come back, Johnny. I'm, yeah, we gotta bring right, you hey, back. Yeah, anytime. I'm anytime, looking time, and man. I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing you in Romania on stage at the Olympia, my man. Hey, here's there you go. Chance, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ooh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. It's super All right, guys, listen. Hey, uh, Chad responded that uh, uh, I said, like, hey, listen, Chris denies it. He is, uh, yeah, he knows it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Bring his ass back on here, too. Tell me about my face. Chris, <laughs> hey, Chris might have lost some of, some of that Johnny, memory. Good luck at the Master. Oh, man. All right. Oh, All right, guys. Chris, thank, thank you. you Milos, I'll see you guys soon, man. We'll talk Chris, next week. Love Take you care, brother. Love you to be in the group chat, right. my brother. All right. Take care. Okay. All right, Johnny. Yo.